This is going to be a video review of the Royal Sovereign four row auto advanced digital coin sorter. I picked this thing up. Here's the model number over there for those who care. FS 44P. Sorts a ton of coins in a minute. Optional thermal printer output, which I'm not going to need. Large display dollar values. Coins counted. Large hopper to hold 800 coins. Anti jam device rotates to help free jams. The thing cost about $100 at the Costco Business Center. Now, I don't own a business. I just don't like counting coins. And I know I could go to the Coinstar thing and pop the money in there and it'll probably cost me a buck or two uh, to pay the machine to count all my change. And I wouldn't be stuck with a $100 machine and then $10 in coin rolls and something that's gonna sit around that I'm never gonna use. But I figured why not, I'll buy it, I'll test it out, I'll do a review. If it's good, I'll keep it. If it's not, I'll take it back, but I wanted to do a review on this thing, so I bought it. I'm going to take it out of the box now. Here's the unit. It has a hopper that the coins go in, and it has a display thing over here. It says, door must be open before running machine, so I'm going to open up the door, and it says, important, remove. So I'm going to remove this thing, and I don't know how noisy this sucker is. I've never owned a coin machine, and like I said, I really don't need it, but for 100 bucks. It's a nice toy, and I can do a cool review on it. And together we'll see if it's really worth buying and having for home use or business. As far as this feature here where it had the pound sign or the dollar, that will give you the count of how many coins or the dollar total. So it has a power switch on the side. I'm going to power this guy up over here. I'm going to press run, and I'm going to start putting all these coins in here now. We'll see what happens. It was very easy to open up the unit and remove the jam coin that was in there. So I'll give them credit for that. I got my whole container of coins in the hopper now. And I'm going to see what happens. Did I get an error? Oh, it's popping open one of the coin drawers. I think you can see that down here. Let me try to show you that. Popped open one of the coin drawers. I've got the hopper completely filled with coins all the way up to the top. There's a lot of weight on there. It's got an anti-jam unit. So far I'm up to $13, which means that I haven't even paid for all the money that I've put into buying this machine. It's a big, what the heck am I doing here? But here we go with the review. There are a lot of pennies in here. We'll just take, well, it wouldn't take forever to count, uh, I'm at 100 pennies now. The drawer's popping down for quarters. So this will take about $2 worth of pennies, maybe a buck fifty, and then it will stop, and I'm going to have to remove the coin holder and put them in some paper wrappers. Nobody wants to, coin, nobody wants to count coins. It's popping out for the uh, third time now. Nobody wants to count these things, and that's why... We have the uh, thing at the store where you can just pay them to do it for you. Or you can spend forever doing it yourself. So it's doing a good job. I'm up to 17. I'm up to $18 now. Let me shut this off and I'll finish it off and turn the video back on. $23 almost. Yeah. It's kind of strange, all the dimes bouncing around in there. The third row of pennies is almost filled up. It's not counting any quarters right now. I wish it would. Uh, way too many pennies. I'm up to $25. The machine's working really good. It's very quiet. Just popped out a row of nickels. $26. Moving along. So it has four, four containers in each row. It's on its fourth container of pennies. I don't really pay cash anymore, so I probably will not be collecting as many coins. But it's just a nightmare. And hey, it's only money. 
If you like my videos, do me a favor, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. And I buy this stuff so that I can make good uh, reviews for you people. Probably not going to return this, so uh, if you want to help me out, go to my support page, support button on the main channel page and click it and donate a few bucks maybe to help me out with all this stuff. Almost done filling up the fourth row of pennies. I don't know what happens after that. I assume it just stops counting them. Fourth row of pennies is done. It is not going to count anymore. So let me clear out the penny rolls and then I'll push that thing back in. I emptied out the pennies. I'm assuming the machine turned off because it's got pennies it wants to count and there is no more room to put pennies in there. These other things don't appear to be completely filled up. So I'm gonna lift up the little knob over here, the, the door, push this back in and see if it continues counting. It doesn't continue counting. It doesn't say that it's jammed. The quarters are not filled up. The dimes aren't filled up. The nickel, the yeah, the nickels aren't filled up. So I guess I just press run and continue. That's right, I just press run and it is continuing to do what it's supposed to do. So the features on here seem fairly nice. Let's go check the coin hopper, it's almost finished. And the big question is, if you have a business, it's probably a great machine, it's worth every penny. And if you're a person who just hates pointing, I can't, why do I keep messing up there? If you're a person that hates counting coins, then this would be a nice feature, a nice thing to have. If you have a family, if you live by yourself and you don't really use a lot of coins, it might be a lot of money for something that you don't need. You could just use Coinstar or one of those coin machines. Or it might be a nice thing just to keep in the house. I'm up to $45. $45. The whole thing is about $110 total in investment. So after another year of collecting coins, this would pay for itself. And until then, it would be sitting around. So I might be taking this back to the store. Uh, I just admit it was a foolish thing to purchase. But the review should be pretty awesome. It is a good unit. It runs very well. It's quiet. I wouldn't say it's extremely fast, but it looks like it's very efficient. And then you got to take the thing, take the coins, put them in a wrapper, put your bank account number on there, take it to the bank. So it's a huge hassle. Spending money on gas and your time. And the question is, is it really worth doing that? The money and the gas and the money and time to purchase all of this just to have some convenience at home. Uh, I would say if maybe you're 20 years old and you got a whole lifetime of dealing with counting coins, but everybody deals with debit cards, so the machine works as it should, and uh, probably not something you should just buy for home use unless you have an incredible amount of coins that you deal with on a daily basis. And I think it's counted everything. I'm up to $47.00. My final review is, yeah, it's a good machine, $50.78. Um, it breaks it down with how much money, dimes, nickels, pennies, quarters. I don't really like this part where it doesn't show you total pennies and quarters and nickels. It just shows the last row, which doesn't really help me too well. Um, it's a good machine. It is very quiet. I was surprised. It's got four rows. These are a little difficult to pull out of here. They're a lot difficult to pull out, especially when they're full. The nice thing is that you can put your coin wrappers in there and it will count them and throw all the coins in there for you and then you just pull them out of the wrap out of the tube over here and wrap them up and take them to the bank. So overall, yeah, for the price for 100 bucks this machine is definitely worth it. Uh, for home use, it's not worth it to me. I just spent uh, Probably about 20 minutes counting all these coins, $50 worth of coins. The whole thing's about $110 invested with tax, and it's just not worth it. So even though it is very convenient, and if money's not an object for you, then this might be a really easy way to go. Just buy the thing and throw it in the corner. But I don't want to have a big unit like this sitting around for another year until I go to count some coins. That's, that's my 
which my point is, it just is not practical for me. And I just need to take some time and either go to uh, the coin machine at the store, throw them in there, or wrap them up and take them to the bank. So, review, excellent machine, well worth the money, but unless you run a business or have a massive amount of coins, it is definitely not worth the time.